Hey guys, welcome back to Tough Love. Back here today with Matt. And today's podcast is brought to you and sponsored by Medray Laser and Technology, best class four laser in the business. Matt, what's going on, brother? Let's get started. Let's get it. Good to be back. So we're rocking and rolling right now on the offensive side of things. We got programs going. We're crushing it with interviews and a lot of systems that you're implementing too in the coaching realm. How does it feel to be in control of the offense and continuing to move forward? You know what? I have got back to the early morning uh, rituals of listening to people that execute. And for me, that's about listening to a Nick Saban, uh, a, a Bidros or a Bidros, you know, however he pronounces his name, of these guys that are out there executing and not only executing, but they have the on the road wins and the businesses and the bank accounts to show it, right? And last year was one of those years where, you know, it got a little shaky, right? And it's never been me. If anything, like I've always been that athlete, like read and react, right? Coach Lou Piccolo, <laughs> you know, uh, no thinking, just go. And it served me very well for a lot of years. I mean, obviously preparation, I'm not talking about inpatient care, but I'm talking about that gut feeling, right? And I stopped trusting my gut. And uh, I realized in, you know, talking about velocity performance today on this, on this episode, it was about getting back to the basics. And I posted a video the other day of my man, Tommy Shades, and it brought me to tears, right? That little man's been around me since now he's, you know, 17, 18 years old. He's one of my son's best friends. Um, and, you know, he's got a condition called osteogenesis imperfecta. And that family's been around us, you know, I've, I feel like an uncle to them. And one thing about velocity is most people probably don't realize they look at it, it just looks like a big business, but kids like that, like he looks at me like uncle John. We're family. And we're family. And, you know, when I get the message from the parents, like, yo, you got to get him moving, right? Uh, he won't move without you. I know my job's not done. And with that being said, when we're looking about, you know, we've talked in some previous episodes that we're going to be closing down freehold, you know, just a lease situation. I'd always say buy to people if they're asking, especially in the business coaching realm, like, hey, if you can afford it, buy it. Don't yeah. lease it, right? Don't be in the control of somebody else. You be in the control, you be on the offensive. And I made that video and I started looking back to like why I started, why I went to school. And it was almost like an awakening of sorts, you know? And I was like, hey, you know what? Let's push. Let's bring OT back to Red Bank. Let's bring acupuncture back in. Um, let's go on the offensive with the Wellness Institute side, pushing the, you know, the men's health and the hormone replacement, uh, the machines. I mean, you know, I think there's a lot of people that talk. We have a million dollars worth of equipment sitting in our offices. Let's put it to work. Ready to go. <laughs> Ready to go. Like it's there, yeah. you know? And when I started organizing that, and then went to the different teams yourself and this and that. I said, hey, you know what? <laughs> we got some amazing stuff in front of us. We need to run a plan, run it quick and pivot quick. You know, if it doesn't work, you know, that's it. Call an audible, you right. know, but keep going. Yeah. You know, you know, no one, you know, uh, you know, I think other than, uh, you know, UCLA, you know, <laughs> undefeated 10, whatever champions or whatever, you know, there's not a lot of programs out there, sports and otherwise, you're going to, you're not going to take defeats, but to me, the defeats define you because it's what you do after that loss, right? So 2023 was a horrific year and we're still getting some waves crashing down on us, you know? And I'm like, you know what? So what? The waves are getting smaller and smaller. Day yeah, by day. Ex exactly. You know, it's like, we're having bad days that are still great days, yeah. right? And, you know, so today's episode, I was like, hey, listen, you know what? There's people out there that are probably on the verge of quitting. And I'm like, you know what? This is a no quit zone. Yeah. Right. You know, when it comes to this business, you know, right now when people ask me, you know, Hey, you got a lot going on. I'm like, yeah, you know what I do. And, uh, I am dialed into the business and organization and my presentation and what I'm bringing to my audience when I'm on the podcast. If we're on site, I know we have some really awesome podcasts coming up. Um, with some badass restaurants all around New Jersey and Staten Island and, and, and the different things I'm doing with industry magazine that I'm super proud of, you know, you're helping out as you know, and I'm like, and it's all reflecting back to the business and in, you know, that John O'Connor incorporated, but 
at the same time, it's giving our team confidence, right? Absolutely. We, j- we joke around, you know, the other day in Freehold, we looked at, at, at uh, you know, Matt, Matt Wack, AKA Wack, you know, and I saw a smile on his face that I'd never seen before from the interview process, this and that. And I was like, you know what? We're about to go on a run, you know, and- Got that fresh cut, ready to go. Got the fresh cut, looking good. And uh, so I- I'm happy with that. So I hope that answered it. But yeah, I mean, I think it's just- being organized, being on the attack, and um, and just keep that swag up. You know, you missed that free that first free throw, but dig in. You know, you made a thousand. You got to for Go a make a thousand and one. Hundred percent. Now with good offense, you need a team built around you. So how do you rally up the troops per se? Get the team together to get on the same offense, get that same mindset, and keep moving forward. You know, that's a great question. One of the things that I notice, and I imagine that owners and corporations and and banks and everything would kind of say the same thing, uh, or anything, business in general, is your tone to each business personality or your team has to be consistent, but mindful. Right. Some people, you got to deliver a soft message. Some people, you can be hard on. And... But at the end of the day, you have to be clear, crystal clear with where you're going and reassure them that you can't get there without them. You know, if it's like, you know, it's an I and, you know, like an I concept or, you know, really more of a complex, yeah. you're probably not going to go far. Right. Right. So I think right now, one of the biggest things that, I'm trying to do in my readings and teachings that I'm, you know, self-taught with a lot of my business um, development strategy is not micromanaging, leaning on my team Mm -hmm. and, but then sending messages saying, Hey, if we can accomplish X, Y, and Z today, tomorrow, and the, and the next week and in the day after are going to be amazing. And, and then let them say, Hey, Anybody have any input here to make this idea even better, improve it, you know, let them get inspired to scribble down some ideas, jot some, jot down some ideas to feel like they're involved with the, you know, the escalation, the accelerated success. Right. And so, you know, that would be, that would be my big strategy. You know, it's just make sure you're communicating, watch the hard tone. Yep. Most times when people are inspired and pushing their business, it's usually, because they're in financial woes yeah, and they sit up, they sit back and, you know, they kind of sit back and relax when they're in a winning streak. And then all of a sudden they start falling back. I think the big thing that I saw, you know, I saw my social media guys the other day, they're hot right now. Right. And then, you know, four thirty five o'clock in the morning, I get a, Hey doc, have you, uh, have you, have you done my Google review yet? And, you know, truth be told, I couldn't get on my iPad, right? Sometimes, sometimes I'm a dinosaur. So I had to re-log in. I almost called him to be like, get me on my iPad. <laughs> so I could do the Google review, got out there. And I was like, but you know what though? That made me happy to see a young businessman that has a group and he's pushing himself because, you know, everything now is an algorithm, right? You have to touch so many touch points. And when you do, the success comes, but it's really consistency, Right. I, I know people look at my Instagram and it's the, the followers are climbing. They're like, this dude never gets off that blue box yeah. or, you know, he's in that chair or this and that. I said, I'm busy all day long. I crank out 10 to 20,000 steps every single day, but I know within my rituals and routines, if I don't do those little things, it's, gonna happen. it's not going to happen. I, I, because that's how I burnt myself out, you know, in my early forties, without a doubt. you know, that, you know, even thirties when I would get injuries, it was always because I was burning, you know, burning the candle as my dad would say, burning the candle from both ends. Yeah. Hundred percent. And when it comes to setting goals inside the business from a business perspective and point of view, I'm gonna relate back to when you said when we have bad days, there's still good days. How do you separate bad to good to great? Coachable moments. Bad means that you missed the coachable moments. That it really wasn't we had it today, right? We weren't super busy. But there were so many things we had to do. There was stuff with the, you know, the coaching opportunity. I have a huge opportunity I'm sponsoring uh, for Dr. John Fernandez down in uh, Fort Lauderdale. We are, are, you know, super blessed and grateful to be in that opportunity. We got that done. Um, but in just a communication, I say, hey guys, 
no matter what happens, if our communication is clear, we will win the day. You know, that win the day moment is capturing those little small things, right? And being a professional basketball trainer for 20, 25 years, I would always tell my athletes, you know, don't sit down on water breaks. When the coach, unless the coach asks you to sit down, never show weakness, right? Never show fatigue, always make eye contact, Mm -hmm. you know, always be that, that mental monster that even if you know, you can't beat that guy, they're wondering like this person thinks he has a shot. Yeah. Then just then they might just start thinking maybe they're better than I thought. Maybe I underestimated them. Right. Little David and Goliath thing. And so I think in the course of the day in, you know, I don't care whether it's healthcare or the physical fitness space or anything, any business, I think you measure your success by having an actual, an actionable plan and sticking to it. Right. Right. And so many times, you know, when we lose focus in a day, you know, I love what DJ Tenhove said, where he's, I think he's on those five minute increments or, you know, for me, I think it's 15 minutes. I always break it down to, you know, there's a 15, a 15, a 15, boom, reset in the hour. And when we win those 15s, it's like, it's like my, one of my great basketball coaches would say, win the quarter, win four quarters, win the game. We never look at the game at the end, win four quarters, talk to me later, you know? And that's what I think in having the locations that we're doing a much better job coming out of the gates. Like all of our numbers are better in the first, uh, you know, early first quarter, 2024. And the reason is we're not letting people off the hook, right? We're in constant offensive. We're in constant full court press and we are four corners. You know, we are stretching out. We're forcing this off, you know, off, you know, like we're even on defense, we're on the attack. hundred percent. And I, I think that's super important. You know, I think that, you know, we got complacent in 2023 and 2024. It's back to let them know. Well, we got comfortable. Yeah. That's that's one thing we can't do. And the most difficult part of owning a business is when you have more than one location. We have three. We have the same team members that go to each three locations. In order to win the week, win each day, everyone needs to be on same track and have that same vision. Now, how could you explain to your listeners on how to coach up all team members, employees, management, on how to have that same vision, same goals, same mindset? It's communication. You know, it's communication. It's, it's what we do on Sunday. It's something that I didn't do. Um, and I'm going to make somebody smile right now. It's that all-in mentality, right? And uh, that on Sundays, you know, I like to reach out to just you, but to really be a great leader, I got to make everybody feel that magic, right? I never liked a coach that would just, you know, cue on one guy. I always, always said, and I always said this in training, I'd have a national player of the year, three all Americans and a, and a pro. My 13th kid training was atrocious and he was right next to me or she was right next to me. Yeah. And so my all American knew, Hey, we're only as good. We only work as hard as the one that thinks they don't belong. And when they feel like they belong, then they're going to win for you. But if you let them, if you let them feel like they're just a part and, it, and they're almost unneeded just or just filling, filling a roster spot, you're not going to get that love from them. Right. They're not going to roll up their sleeves when it's, when it's in that darkest hour and you need them to go. Yeah. They're going to be like, you never really have my back. Yeah. Right. Especially now these kids, now everybody gets a trophy you know, mentality, they don't know from it. They don't know from, you know, going out and working by themselves. They have a trainer, they have this, they have that. I mean, you know, so I think that it's important that we remind, you know, that I remind myself of that. There was a great article in Sports Illustrated a couple of years back talking about one of my favorite basketball coaches and Coach K. And he realized that it was a blessing and he was so grateful to still be coaching at the age he was at. But he said that he spends so much time with the sociology department and modern communication team and bringing kids in that are looking to get their masters and, and whatever their PhDs at Duke to understand how the youth communicate yeah. so that he could best deliver his message and receive their message to understand what he was understanding in the seventies and the eighties and the nineties yeah. and 2010. And you, you know, because when you've been good for that long, it's like, you know, you could lose touch with the fact of communication. And I've seen that with a lot of coaches. And I think it's no different in business, right? When you're the figurehead, they expect you to be 
on your game. Right. hundred percent. And fueling off of that education is key. We tell patients that all the time. We love ed- educating them, but also ourselves. I feel not. I feel, I know it's so vital and important for us to continue to learn. You're going down to Florida the weekend of March 22nd for the, uh, the International medical Sh- shockwave yeah. Society, um, yeah. convention and super excited for that opportunity. You know, you were watching videos all day today. You send those videos to myself, Christian, who's our lead athletic trainer, and we're constantly coaching up our team in Red Bank and Freehold on proper educating because to me, that's the most important thing for patients to be successful, but also us from a business standpoint. If we don't continue to learn, we don't continue to grow. 100%. You know, I'm going to say this. I think the biggest thing with that is, again, mistakes I've made along the way, right? And you can't go back in time, but you can learn from it, right? And the one thing that I would say, you know, it's funny. I was on the phone the other day with one of my girls who was out in, in Colorado, and I literally regurgitated her whole sports life from her medical chart at Lehigh to, you know, cutting the net down, you know, when they won the conference championships to go into the NCAA tournament. And then everything in between, going to quit, going to go back. She goes, Doc, I can't believe. And I said, you know what? I have to do a better job to make those moments because I remember not everybody to share them. Because when you go into a storyteller mode and show that you've actually been listening, it is unbelievable the power that has that you've actually paid attention to someone to show them, wow, he or she's actually listening to me. They care. Right. And that feeling is just an unbelievable, that, that's power. Yeah. You know, that's like, you can't see it, but it's like, you know, if you've ever had that amazing coach, those are arm hair up, let's go. Right. You know, without a doubt. And like you've always told us, it starts from the top. And as you being, as you and uh, Dr. Jessica being the owners of Velocity, it starts with you guys. 100%. Drop, I, and then- I'm super proud of her, you know, and, you know, she's had to roll her sleeves up and she's always, she's always been, you know, a knuckle up tough girl. And, you know, and I, and I, she comes from her parents who had an extremely successful practice, but she's running two companies right now, you know, because each practice runs independent. So she's running Velocity Wellness Institute as the boots on the ground owner there. Uh, and it's scaling. We're having our best, yeah. again, our best quarter to start. And then she's running the Red Bank location. So kudos to her. It's not easy. It's not us being together like college, this and that. And, you know, quite frankly, when you have multiple locations, you can't do that anymore. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's not a huge corporation where you can go out and hire, you know, a, a Kellogg School of Business person, this and that. You have to be owner occupied. You got to be boots on the ground. And, you know, it, she's, um, she's taken on that responsibility. And like, perfect example, she came uh, out of Nashville, Tennessee, a Friday to Sunday trip. Uh, flight delays because of the, the wind and everything, got home four, four or five o'clock in the morning and she was at the office at nine. Yeah. You know, and right. I was one iron. I'm like, why well, did you just get home? And I'm getting up for work, you know? And she had just got home. I was like, eesh. Yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. But I, I have to say like, you know, talking about being on the offensive, mm-hmm. she knew on Thursday, she guessed that that was probably gonna happen. She said, yeah. no matter what, I gotta dig in and I gotta, I gotta get there. So I think mm-hmm. like how I'm pushing everybody it's even going in the home front, you know, and I was home all this weekend with my daughter and I tried to be super organized and kind of planned the whole weekend for her. Um, And, you know, it's like, I'm big on, well, they probably don't like that I text them at 5 (laughs) a.m., you know, but I've wished, you know, I wish them good luck. Hey, win the day, the whole deal. And I got a nice, you know, compliment. Hey, you know, you were, you were perfect this weekend. You were trying hard. Thank you. You know, and, you know, again, consistency, deliberate intent, with some positivity and it's like sprinkling whipped cream and cherries on top. (laughs) Absolutely. And with that comes, it's not even to be in it, but you need passion and you have to thoroughly enjoy what you do as a business partner and owner. And to me, I feel like that's you guys, you go above and beyond for that. And it goes to show to all of our team that you care and have the passion behind it. That's why everybody has that same vision on the offensive side. You know, I'm going to close on that. You know, today's podcast was about moving fast, right? And you got to be on the offensive. And if you sit back and you get caught on your heels, business, life, relationships, you get knocked down real quick. (laughs) You might be (laughs) dusting off your ass, right? And I have to say that, you know, getting everybody to understand that 
in our team has been, you know, it, it's been a, a blessing that I'm understanding the importance of not stonewalling them, right? And not getting in a situation where in the past, I was that dad from the 50s yeah. because I told you so. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. let me let me redefine what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You know, let me let me close that out. Yeah. But loved everything today. I think it was a super packed energy. You know, I think today's podcast for people that are listening, it's you know a shorter one, but I think the power in this one, you're gonna listen to it a couple of times. You gotta understand that you're gonna get in situations where you feel like, hey, I can't win here. Yep. You know, I'm losing you're losing only if you decide to quit, yep. you know, decide to quit, Absolutely. you know, that's it. You know, I've learned many lessons where I felt like I was winning in situations where I may have not got the W, but came away with a, a greater sense of what I needed to do. So it never happened again. Mm -hmm. And that's what I see from 2023 to 2024 that I'm gonna leave today's podcast with to say, you know what? I made so many mistakes in 2023. I realized life's short and if you want something, you gotta go get it. And then, you know, and if you have to fix something, you know, you got to dig in and get it done. But at the end of the day, it's all how bad you want it, being consistent and showing up every single day. Yeah, 100%. Nailed it. <laughs> Let's do it. Guys, thank you so much for joining us at the podcast today. Again, if you like the message we're delivering, please share this to your friends and family. Uh, you can follow us on any of our platforms. You can find this on Spotify or Apple, um, Apple Podcasts. And we'll see you guys again soon. Thank you.